All right, hey everybody, this is John with Dead Drift Outdoors. I am coming to you from the Catskills. I am out in the Catskills for the first time this season. Uh, I'm actually camped out here with my girlfriend Allison, who's behind the camera right now. She's going to be helping me film, and she's going to hopefully do some fishing as well. But uh, yeah, we came up. I've seen this campsite on previous trips, and I always wanted to camp here, so good time to do it. There's nice weather. The bugs aren't out yet too bad at all, so got here this morning, set up camp. It's about midday now, so we just had a bite to eat and we are gonna go fish. We're gonna be fishing this little tiny uh, tributary, a little brook trout stream. I have fished it before, it's really nice. There's fish almost up to the campsite here. It gets pretty small as you can see. We're gonna hike down the road quite a ways and uh, hopefully get into some native rookies for you guys. So come along and we'll see what we get into. All right, well we're down to the creek. I got Allie on the camera back there. She's gonna be filming and fishing a little bit too. We're gonna be fishing the uh, Alabine Streamlight six and a half foot three weight. Starting out with just a, a wolf dry. We'll see if they're looking up, and if not, we'll probably throw on a, a dropper. A nice long stretch to fish here on state land, so we'll see what we get into. Whoop, frog. There goes a trout. Ooh, big trout. That one was like that. Yeah, I mean, he was like in here. He went up under that rock. There's like no way to fish this. I missed one, a little tiny one. <laughs> yeah, on the board. <laughs> I did I did call it. Well, hey, it's not much, but are you laughing at my fish? It's cute. It's cute. It is cute. <laughs> but so far we've been pretty it's been tough. Here you go, dude. Couple really good pulls, spooked a couple fish. Spooked a really nice fish. He was like under all this brush. There was no way I was gonna get at him. And then a nice pull down there, but it's been tough so far. But hey, we're on the board. We're getting into the big ones. Having my, my only luck in this real shallow water with these little guys, but hey. Another healthy brookie. Last year we fished this stretch and uh, we saw some some spawning activity, so a lot of a lot of little ones in here. It's good to see. All right, so it is getting to be mid-afternoon and unfortunately, I've only caught a couple really small brookies so far. Have seen some bigger fish, spooked them, but the water is real skinny and low. And uh, unfortunately, we had to skip a nice stretch of creek down below because we got pretty much attacked by some guy's Rottweiler. Anyway, so we had to kind of go around that, which kind of slowed us down. So we're back in the creek. There's a couple more decent pools up here, but uh, that's gonna be about it for this creek and then we'll have to either check out a different one or um, or just call it a night and wait to fish tomorrow, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll get another fish or two up in here. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Right. That's the first decent fish of the day right there. Nice little mountain brookie. Ate my caddis. Heck yeah.
We're making a retreat. Okay. Thunderstorm's coming. Allie wanted to keep fishing. We weren't allowed. Still think we should be fishing? No. <laughs> All right, hey everybody, this is day two in the Western Catskills. We had a pretty interesting afternoon yesterday. We got to the campsite, set everything up, it was looking good. And we actually had a run in with a really nasty dog and a not very helpful dog owner. Um, I think the guy said, don't let him get behind you. What do you say? I trained him to attack from behind. <laughs> I trained him to attack from behind. Not something you want to hear, so pretty sketchy. Actually was a really good area of the stream we had to kind of skip around but water levels were really low the fish were really spooky i think i got two little ones one decent sized one and then um before we could really get rolling some nasty storms rolled through we ended up getting in getting back to camp before it hit but it got so bad we had to run up into the uh car it was hailing blowing lightning thunder and then the car was leaking the sunroof was leaking and so water was pouring into the car. Allie was holding up a water bottle to try to catch it. I probably lost my temper a little bit. But, yep. mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, we spent a soggy night at camp, but hey, we're out today. It is gorgeous. The, the fog is burning off. Um, we've already fished a little bit, but um, we're going to be targeting some wild trout on this uh, small tributary in the western Catskills. And it's a little bigger than when we fished yesterday. It's got brook mostly, a few browns, and actually some rainbows in a few of the open sections. So we'll see what we get into today, bring you guys along. Hopefully we're going to get Allie into a fish today. I hope so. So let's do it. Real big fish just swiped at my fly. He missed it, so. Oh, big brookie. That wasn't the real big one, but all right. Just uh, starting out this morning, decided to, we're checking out a different stream and checked out this culvert hole and we looked down and it's actually posted below here so I couldn't really fish it from below but I managed to get in the culvert and go down and chuck the woolly bugger and had a real big brown come up and slash it, missed it and then this beautiful brookie came up and smacked it so gorgeous fish, probably a good eight or nine inch brook trout, just beautiful. There we go. 
<laughs> Didn't have enough net. All right, number two on the day. Right, another nice brookie. Woohoo! Figured there'd be one in that little plunge pool. No? Yeah! Nice! Yeah! Hold on! Alright! <laughs> Total fire drill, man! You got a fish! I know, he's cute! He's cute! He's a brookie! Alright, let's get him in the water. That was all you, I'd given up. Yeah, he gave up on me. I gave up on you and you kept hammering by those tree roots. Mm -hmm. And there he came out. I'd give you props. And it was while I was like, giving you over instruction too. Over instruction? <laughs> I was like, nap, let it drift. Oh. Alright, so Allie just got her uh, first brookie of the trip. I think we're both super excited. <laughs> we worked pretty hard for it. So you want to show them off real quick and then we'll get them back in the water. Really pretty fish came right out from those roots. Let me get a quick little shot. All right. We'll put them right back. There he goes. My first release. <laughs> Woohoo! There we go. All right. Nice silvery brown. I almost thought it was a rainbow at first. All right, see if we can't get another one out of here. Nice fish just came out and slammed it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big brown. Whoo! That'll get you. That'll get your heart going. Whoop! There's one. I bet that was one. It was tiny though. There's a better one. It's just saying how like the little rainbows in this stream will often hang out here. Let's see, is it? No, it's a it's a brookie. I was wrong. I got him. Actually he's a nice one. We'll probably pull I'll use him that. Yeah, 
<laughs> nice little brookie. A little small guy came out first, but yeah, maybe being that it's spring and the water's cold, the brookies are digging the warmer water. So usually in the summer, these open stretches are more rainbow country, but hey, I'd rather catch a brookie any day. I'm just gonna, you don't have to film this. I'm just gonna throw this bugger in really quick. Did you do a drop it just now? Yeah. I thought you did a No, I did two different nymphs. And they, they hit, I threw a big nymph and they hit that a couple times, but then, then they just, it must have been like maybe, oh, there he is. <laughs> I was gonna say it must have been a little fish, but. It's a little brownie. Yeah, baby. Kept missing a fish on the uh, the nymph, but not on the bugger. The old olive bugger. All right, dude. Get right back up there. There he is. Alright. Nice brookie. Ate the uh, yellow wolf. Just been switching up a little. Very nice. Ate it on his second try. You see that? Ha, ah, little guy just came up and tried to eat the dry little tiny fish. There he is. Oh, he's fighting hard. Rookie on the dropper. Purdy purdy. All right, little guy. Ah, it's just hard to get a drift over there. That's it. Yes. All right. Oh, we were trying to get one last brookie, get one on film, taking the dry, and just been dealing with some small fish and some pesky fish and this guy hit three times on a stimulator i switched to an adams gave it a minute and just a beautiful female and ali was determined to get one taking the dry and we were almost ready to turn around so this is a pretty special fish pretty awesome way to end the day right there thank you brook trout you made our day All right, well that's gonna wrap it up for us today. It's been a long weekend here in the Catskills. We had a great day today. We caught a lot of fish. Allie got into a brookie. One. One. <laughs> we tried really hard getting her into another one, but it was tough at the end of the night. I could barely do it. 
and uh, she tried really hard, but we had to turn around. So uh, we're all packed up and we're heading back, but I'm sure we'll be back. And uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. What happened? Yeah, all right. What happened? The beaver dam tripped you? Aww. That wasn't very nice.